Are you new to 2B2T? Are you tired of walking absolutely everywhere? Well, look no further, because this is your complete guide on how to get an elytra as a new fag. First things first, you're going to want to escape spawn. Once you have successfully escaped spawn, you're going to want a full diamond set minus the helmet and swap that for a, for a pumpkin. Uh, you're going to want a few picks, so keep that in mind because you're going to be breaking a, a lot of blocks. So bring some extra diamonds and wood with you so you can craft those. You're also going to need to bring a whole bunch of building blocks, but don't bring too many. There's plenty in the, in the end. Uh, bring plenty of food. An optional is an e-chest and a totem. All right, and it looks like we have reached the end portal. Yeah. So once, ooh. No. Okay, so now that we are done with all these shenanigans, I've decided to take the western road because, for one, it's going to be a lot less traveled than the Positive X road, or the eastern road, or highway, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I'm going to hit about 10k, maybe 12k, then hop off the highway, and let's see how soon we can find an elytra. Alright, we have hit a little bit over 10k, we're at 11k. So this is where the picks, and oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't bring a pumpkin, so that kind of fucked me. All right, so you're just gonna want to sit here, and you're gonna want to collect a whole bunch of end stone. But if you already have blocks, then you know that's all right. For sort of business, you're gonna want to build over to another island, and so on and so forth. Uh, in my case, I'm not going to be heading s uh, straight in that direction, in the northern direction. I'm going to be going uh, northwest, so just keep that in mind. Alright, and once you're here, all you're going to want to do is dig up some more blocks again. Make sure to crouch, that way you don't accidentally fall. And you're going to want to bridge over to the next island, and to the next island, and to the next island, and so on and so forth. But me, I got an elytra, so I'm obviously not going to do all that. Um, and you'll see me when I find an elytra, under 50k. A thousand percent. Okay, we found an end city. Uh, I tried landing, but there we go. Cool. All right, so it looks like we're not anywhere near, anywhere near 11K. Now we're at 27K, but look at that, an elytra under 50K. Um, nothing to say, but easy. Um, yeah, so... Pretty much that's it, guys. I'm gonna leave this lecture here for all of you. You know what's crazy? Fuck it, bro. I'm about to bless. I'm gonna bless some of you. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, let's give you guys Tavix. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That, what else can I leave in here? Some food. And another e-chest. Boom. See? Beautiful. Alright guys. Well, pretty much it. That's how to get an elytra in under 50k. And there's tons of these. I promise you there's like a million of these. All around. Anyway, good luck with that. You're going to spend quite a few hours in the end just bridging and bridging and bridging and bridging. It's going to be a bitch, but you can do it. Uh, if you don't want to do this, best thing you can do is wander around spawn and maybe, and hope to God, somebody will give you an elytra for free. Well, obviously. Or maybe you find a dead body. 
which is what I would do, to be honest with you. This this would take way too long to do on foot. And there's also the possibility that you let go of the shift key and fall to your death and lose all that progress. Anyway, good luck, guys. My fellow walkers of 2B2T. My fellow porons. My fellow porites. I'm a George Floyd, your ass. Have a good night.